It's one thing to learn that my brother died, but it's so different to learn that it was from an heinous act, purposely attacked. And it, see, it was even more brutal when I saw what happened in Ottawa. Now, try to imagine what I feel and multiply by a hundred. I am not the spokesman of, of my family. Each member of my family shines in their own way. The spokesman is Patrice Vincent, and I would bet you also Nathan Cyrillo with him. Patrice's message is to go home tonight, look at those who contribute to your happiness, to your life, and have gratitude for the love they give you, for the help they give you. And he would tell you also, love them, share with them your help in the way you can. And this is what Patrice was doing, try to be a better man every day of his life. This made him a hero, but none of us saw this coming. Merci. Patrice would not expect that. It's like, it's, I think it will be overwhelmed for him. Even his families today, they still do not believe that this is happening. The circumstance, definitely, it's, that's the way it is. Eh? We have to pay tribute to that guy, the way that he died, the way that he perished. He's a firefighter. And I think everybody uh, needs to pay respect to this. And I think the family is starting to understand what's happening today. It's, it's just normal. And it's so nice also that 438 Squadron is doing all this for Patrice today. It's fantastic because the logistic, I cannot believe how hard those guys work. And, and you know what? It's worth the trip. Initially, we didn't understand what was going on. We thought that it was an accident. And as, uh, as the, uh, the information uh, started to flow, we realized suddenly that, yeah, maybe we thought that it was an, uh, an isolated incident. And then two days later, we had Corporal Zero, a tragic incident as well. So it's, it's a shock for us. But we understand that uh, those are isolated incidents and uh, we're still being appreciated by the Canadian public and uh, populations.